Starting off CNC break number 14,241. Two years, or sorry, two series ones, two series twos. Yep. And that's the thing, like certain things, it, it's going to be an interesting, see what happens with dealers. I will tell you guys, and I'm not saying I'm predicting this, because I don't also want you guys to just like count on this, because it could go the exact opposite way. But I do think some dealers will get antsy and have some sales very soon. Because they just need to move out some stuff. Young Guns! Bowen Byram. Bowen Byram. Avalanche. Uh, I'm 35, I believe. I think you start losing count after a certain age. I don't know what age it is. I feel like it's 30, but... 35. Portrait of Robertson for the Dallas Stars. Debut of Shesterkin for the Rangers. Why, why do you ask out of curiosity, Eric? What comment sparked that one? Johansson for the Buffalo Sabres, Young Guns. Zabinishad Canvas for the Rangers. Predominant of Patterson for the Canucks. Ooh, that's cool. High gloss number to 10 of Killorn for the Tampa Bay Lightning. 9 of 10. I took a break at 16. Yeah, I was focusing more on uh, kind of like school and just... I wouldn't say got bored of collecting, but kind of a little tired of it. French variant of... Fox for the Rangers. Oh, think of the rookies. Uh, portraits of Benajad. So I believe it was about 2002-ish. I think I got back into it roughly around there. Rookie retrospecta for the Flyers of Farabee. I kind of avoided 2001, 2000, I think. I did some here. Portraits, Kucherov. But I, I, was, I was back two years before Crosby for sure. Alexiev, Young Guns, for the Caps. So, I was back before Crosby. Worldwide of Aho. So, it must have been, yeah, it was probably early uh, or late 2000, 99s. Late 90s, I guess. Not 99s. 90s. Darlene Canvas for the Buffalo Sabres. Lindstrom Young Guns. Well, technically, I'm trying to think right now. Quick for the LA Kings. Yeah, I think it was literally I started back in about 2000. So it was five years, uh, five years before Crosby. McKinnon for the Avs. I remember when Premier came out, and I was pretty jacked up about it. And Be a Player's Signature Series was one of my favorite products of all time. McKinnon for the Avalanche. Dazzlers. Is there a Matthews I'm missing? Well, I'm missing a lot of Matthews. Portraits for the Devils of Jack Hughes. To be honest, there's no possible way I could get every Matthews. Shane Bowers, Young Guns for the Avalanche. In terms of, is there any cards I'm missing that I would like? Uh, Canvas, Suzuki for the Habs. The only one I actually kind of still need... And I would kind of want was the Ultimate 99. I kind of just forgot about it. Martin Caught, Young Guns for the Avs. Clear Cut of Panarin for the Rangers. Panarin. I'm going to probably be selling some of my Matthews very soon. So, let's probably start with my doubles. Debut of Jack Hughes for the Devils. That was like signature series. No word of a lie. Might be if I had to vote on one of my all-time favorites. That would definitely be in my top three. I absolutely fell in love with signature series. 
The, uh, it might have been, I'm trying to think. It's the one that had the gold and the silvers, and they had, uh, I don't know if it was 99, 2000, or 2000, 2001. I feel like it might have been 2000, 2001. Where it had the, uh, the design, obviously, on the card here, and they had the, the autograph box there, and, like, the rest was this nice gold or a silver. Absolutely beautiful cards. Literally one of my favorites of all time. Worldwide of Larson for the Coyotes. Uh, private stock, I loved it. I was a big fan of that. Vanguard is my biggest, uh, my favorite Pacific one. We've got a Gets Laugh for the Ducks. Carlson Young Guns for the Hawks. 2001, yeah. Love those cards. Alexander True for the Sharks. Uh, that was like my go-to. Portrait of McKinnon for the Avalanche. My dad thought I was insane. You know, $20 a pack or whatever it was. He just didn't understand. Young Guns Canvas. Broberg. Ah, Titanium. That, uh, what was it? Ty Conklin 101. Chase the tie. Woo! That was fun. Vanisek Young Guns for the Caps. Predominant of Tuka Rask. Boston Bruins. Game Jersey of Hedman. It was. As I said, that, that's why I always am very passionate about the stuff. Because everything I always try to convey or help improve the hobby. Patterson for the Canucks. It's always to better the hobby, never my store. Because if the hobby gets healthier, it's good for everybody. Warinsky for the Jackets. So everything I always try to think of or improve on products or whatever it is, it's to help better the hobby. Portraits of Martin Cott. And also taking stuff that I opened up and like how I felt about it. Makaya for the Maple Leafs debut. What's up, KJ? How you doing? Harkins! Young Guns! Come on, Harkins. Come with the Laffy. You know what's good? 15-16 SBA. 15-16 SBA, aside from McDavid, was not that great of a product. Sagan for the Dallas Stars. If you did not hit uh, McDavid, you know... It was a pretty rough box, to be honest. Mikey Anderson for the LA Kings. Young Guns. Same with 15, 6, and Ice. Robertson. French variant Young Guns. Dallas Stars. French variant Young Guns. Uh, Leaf Young Guns, Negativo, sir. Dazzlers, Quinn Hughes. You miss Crosby, here, eh? Young Guns, Lafreniere. For the Rangers. Highly recommend getting that graded, by the way. Same with that French uh, Young Guns of uh, Robertson. Portrait of Domi for the Habs. Predominant of Kemper for the Coyotes. Yeah, 13 or the double rookie class year was a pretty interesting year. Burns for the Sharks. So the only thing I'll tell you guys that my just kind of early prediction kind of scares me. Retrospective of Olofsson. I really hope with the success of the industry that Upper Deck doesn't produce too much for the next few years. Like they don't overdo it now. Clear cut foundations of Schmaltz and Kemper. Schmaltz, Kemper for the Coyotes. Like, I don't mind if they produce a bit more. It's never bad to have products on the shelf, but I really, really hope they don't get uh, super, super trigger happy and just go balls to the wall and like overproduce everything. Their hobby still has to be limited. It has to be, has to be, has to be.
to host the next party. You know what, Adrian? The funny thing is, every year, though, we've just been more pickier and pickier on who we invite, in all honesty. Pinho, young guns for the caps. Because realistically, I think we're always capped at around 65 people in there. Portrait of Carlson for the Hawks. So we'll pick the people who've been supporting us the most. Kelman, young guns for the Sharks. And the good news is, if anyone complains about it, the good news is it's our party. We can do what we would like. Award winners of Hedman for the Tampa Lightning. What was my first big hit? That Crosby Exquisite was always my first big one. Or gold, sorry. Uh, Ty Della Andrea portrait uh, for the Dallas Stars. A gold Crosby 87 uh, cup. Ellis for the Nashville Predators. Canvas. I saw what happened in the 90s, yes. Marky, rookie of Skinner for the Oilers. You know why I say that, Adrian? No word of a lie. Because every single time before our parties, Marky, rookie for the Coyotes of Soderstrom, we get the guys who come off like once every year, Ottinger, retro rookie for the Dallas Stars, and like, oh, buddy, buddy, CNC, you know, I want to come to your party. It's so much fun. And I'm like, you don't, like, Young Guns of Hagel for the Hawks. And again, I don't want this to come across as rude, but I've literally had members who join other people's breaks all year, do not join our breaks, but yet they're best friends with me when I do the expo party because, hey, we have a player coming. Marky, rookie of Coughlin for the Vegas Golden Knights. Marky, rookie of Kimaranta for the Dallas Stars. So like I said, if we're going to be capped out, if we're going to be cap capped out on how many we can bring. Portraits of Hagel for the Hawks. And a Roman Yossi for the Preds French variant. We're going to bring the people that are the best supporting us. They deserve it. Makar Award winners retro for the Avs. And that's the other thing, Adrian. I want to be generous to the right people. Yellison Young Guns for the Calgary Flames. So. Marky Rookie Blue of Burden for the Jets. And also, to be clear, it has nothing to do... Well, sorry. It does have something to do with how much you spend, too. Atkinson for the Blue Jackets. But I just mean loyalty is like, are you on our channel every single day? Are you chatting with us every single day? Are you, you know, just in our room every day? Young Guns of Skinner, you know, at the Expo. Do you buy from us at the Expo? So all of that factors in. We've got a clear cut, which would be random between the Leafs and the Canucks, Matthews Pedersen. So even if you're not a big spender, but like you're a big loyal person on our website and you're chatting every single day, I would take that guy over someone who just comes in once every year and spends five grand with us at one time. It's, it's different customers. Portrait of Zagadulin. Pogonski, Young Guns for the Blues. Dazzlers, Tavares for the Leafs. Backstrom for the Capitals. Canvas. Young Guns, Tim Stutzel. So Lafreniere and a Stutzel. It's a pretty sick break so far. Can't be too upset with this. And we've got a suit variant. Patty Kane for the Hawks. And that's, as I said, Adrian, in all honesty, as I said, when we do the autographs and we do the giveaways, I want it to go to the people that, you know, deserve it, honestly. And that's the thing, Adrian, is that I want the right people to win these things, and I want everyone else who doesn't go to our party to feel like they missed out on something very special. And that is the game plan. I want our guys to feel the best, make them feel appreciated, which is why we also do it. So anyone who goes out there and says that, you know... We're only doing it for money or this. How are we the only store doing appreciation parties then? Explain that to me. Cole Smith, Young Guns for the Nashville Predators. And I can tell you why we're one of the, probably the only ones I know in Canada. It's because it costs a lot of money. 
Hagel Young Guns for the Hawks. Our average cost on those things are around fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. Portrait of Hack and Pa for the Anaheim Ducks. So that is why most stores do not want to do it. Award winners of Dre Seidel for the Oilers. Portrait of Ustamenko for the Philadelphia Flyers. What's an expo? Basically, a lot of dealers get together and sell all the single cards and boxes. Zucker for the Penguins. Marky Rookie of Ustamenko for the Flyers. Eric, I'm guessing you're saying wow on the cost. Is that correct? <laughs> Award winners. Retro, Tampa Bay Lightning. Marky Rookie of Harley for the Stars. While the players generally are around ten to 12000 Marky Rookie of Prisky for the Panthers. The room is normally about two and a half to 3000 Canvas of Corpus Allo for the Jackets. The food is normally between about two to 3000 Portrait of Bowers for the Avalanche. Strawman for the Panthers, French variant. And the booze is normally about 1500 to 2000 Lawrence Young Guns for the Canes. Uh, Upper Deck and Universal help out with the prizing. But even with the prizing, we normally do about two to 5000 of our own stuff. Parise Canvas for the Wild. So generally we're around... I think if I remember our last one, I think our last one was 22,000. DeRosier Young Guns for the Panthers. If I remember correctly. Rookie Photo Shoot Flashbacks Bellows for the Islanders. But the whole point of that event is to give back. To give back to you guys as a thank you for the year of support that you've given us. That is the whole point of it. Expo is open to the public, yet. Yeah. Now, I don't know when the Expo is going to be now. Burke for the Coyotes, Marky Rookie. Send Marky Rookie for the Devils. Marky Rookie Blue, McMichael for the Caps. Portrait of Karushev. Yep. Thurkoff, Young Guns for the Jackets. That's also the other thing there. I really hope people understand how much work Expo actually is for people like us. <laughs> We've got a Larson Dazzlers for the Coyotes. And a Bowers for the Avalanche Program of Excellence. Like, in all honesty, it's a long weekend. Because when you have... Like, if we do it on a Friday night or a Saturday night, we're up at the Expo at like 9 o'clock doing the show. Then we got to send half our staff over. Cousins, Young Guns for the Sabres. The, sh the event normally starts around like 6.30 or 7. And an exclusive to 100 of Rene for the Preds. And we normally...